Okay guys, I'm back. I'm going to record another video, another pickups video. Okay guys, and I'm going to start with the Xbox 360. This time around I started with the Portuguese uh, version of this video. So maybe the Portuguese version will be longer, just because the first time I record I'm usually more uh, into it, so... I don't know, uh, but this this will also be long because I've got a uh, ton of stuff here to show. And I'm going to start with the Xbox 360, and I've got the Halo 4 Game of the Year edition, and of course this doesn't include the DLC on the disc. It's a redeemable code, so yeah, too bad about that. It's uh, the the fourth entry, I think, of the Yellow series. I think there there are others before this one. I think the Halo OST or something. But yeah, I, I bought this because I love the Halo 3 game for the Xbox 360, so I had to get this one. Okay, the other game I got for the 360 is Lost Odyssey. Okay, this game is a, a Japanese RPG. It's got four discs on it. You can see the amount of discs there. Four discs. And yeah, it's supposed to be a hidden gem of <laughs> some some kind of hidden gem or something, but uh, it's a really good game and. It it goes uh, it's it goes um, how can I say this? N not many people talk about it. It, it went um, through. I don't know. I don't know how to say this. I I know how to say in Portuguese, but under the radar. I think that's the expression. So yeah, this is a great game, a Japanese RPG. Um, it's better, supposedly it's better than Final Fantasy that came out at the same time. Final Fantasy 13. And yeah, from the cre uh, actually it says here, from the creator of Final Fantasy. So yeah, I got these two games for the 360. Now, the games I got for the PS4. Oh, I'm going to start with this one. Is this one Ratchet and Clank, the remake remastered of the first Ratchet and Clank? Everybody knows it's a good game. We yeah, am not going to talk much about this one. I also got Batman Return to Arkham, and this includes the uh, two games that came out on the PS3 and all the DLCs as well. I love the Batman series so I really had to to get this. Also I got an indie game and the main reason why I bought the PS4 is was because of the indies, all the indies that came out. So this is one of them, and this is a physical version, and the game is Dex. You can check out gameplay, but yeah, it's a 2D fighting game, I guess, with RPG elements and a great story. So it's a great, great game. If you're into RPGs and the style of... Uh, uh, combat that uh, involves um, how to say this 2D like a 2D fighting um, side scrolling games. Yeah, this is for you, Dex. Okay, now the the juice, <laughs> the the main reason why I, I did this video is a PS3 games that I didn't man, did not mention on the previous video. So yeah, I'm going to start 
with this one. I've got, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten games for the PS3. So the first one is this one. Star Wars Force Unleashed. It's a Star Wars game. A third person Star Wars game. Yeah, you have powers, you control a lightsaber, and it's supposed to be really good. You have the... Um, I think you have the story of Darth Vader, you can play as him. I think. So yeah, really good game. Star Wars, Star Wars game. The other one, and I recommend you guys to pick up this if you see this on the wild, or if you see it at a store for sheep. And this, that's the White, White Knight Chronicles game. This is the White White Knight Chronicles 2, and it includes the first, the first game remastered. It's really worth it, and it's, uh, it's an RPG. I think it's sort of an action RPG. Um, it's really good. White Knight Chronicles. Two. <laughs> uh, the other game is Singularity, and this is a shooter, a first-person shooter, where you have uh, like a power where you can take control of ob objects and then throw them at your enemies. So yeah, it's a shooter with that uh, um, different um, aspect of it. Uh, compared to other games. It's really good. Another one, and it's it's an okay game. Uh, I like the series, but yeah, this is not like the best game ever, but yeah, it's uh, an okay game. And it's X-Men Destiny. So yeah, this is uh, an X-Men game, game. And I think it's like a third person, also third person view on the characters. So yeah. My next game is actually three games. It's an HC collection, and that's Hitman, Hitman Trilogy. Now this is a remake of the PS2 games that came out, um, I believe, uh, 2000, maybe before 2000, around that that time. And yeah, this is a. Is really good. Um, includes Hitman Sniper Challenge. So yeah, it includes Hitman Contract, Hitman Blood Money, and Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. So yeah, it's really good. Really good um, uh, value for your money, I think. It cost me six euros this one. Now this one also costed me, uh, cost me uh, six euros, and that is Spec Ops Line. It's a great shooter. It has a crazy story to it. The character you have to see it uh, till the end to understand, but you can see you can see in the end that he imagines some of the stuff, and they also have to make decisions. But yeah, it's uh, an intense shooter, and you you can you can see at the end that the main character he has some issues. But I'm not going to tell everything about this game. But it's really good, and also I I don't think the strong point on this game is only the story. The gameplay is very good. Okay. Well, the next two are. Uh, two related games. There, the two games from this series: Red Faction Guerrilla and Red Faction Armageddon. Yeah, these are games where you can basically destroy everything around you. Destroy the, um, the buildings, uh, everything, pretty much. Okay, another game is this one: Homefront. And I think the PS4 version isn't as good as this one for the PS3 that came out. So yeah, it's another shooter. It was really, really cheap. So 
so that's why I bought it. In the last game, I bought this because I love the series, and it was also cheap on Amazon. And actually, here in stores, they're selling it for quite a lot, so that's why I bought it. Not only because of that, but also because it's a um, it's a game of a franchise that I really love, and that is uh, Lego Lord of the Rings. Now, I don't like that much to play Lego games, but yeah, this one is is a Lord of the Rings version, and I love Lord of the Rings. So yeah, I had to get it, and it was cheap. So that's the end of the episode. As I <coughs> as I as I uh, um, said before, this episode is is a little bit uh, shorter than the Portuguese version, but that's because I'm recording this after I recorded the Portuguese version. So yeah, even so, it's uh, yeah, it came along well. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy these these types of videos and leave a, a like and subscribe to my channel and if you can I'm usually recording or live recording uh, at 11 p.m. Uh, Portuguese time after that hour so yeah I, I've been doing some live streaming but not many people are viewing so that's why I, I'm not doing it as uh, regularly as I I wanted to but yeah if you guys can leave your support maybe a like maybe subscribe maybe a comment that would be very nice so yeah, I guess this is it and yeah um, enjoy your gaming and yeah that's it peace